Thank you. Thank you very much, Dempsey. That voice of God was Dempsey. Thank you. Um, uh, it's a great honor to be here to introduce this group. Uh, but first, I want to thank uh, uh, our colleagues in putting on this enterprise, particularly the New England Foundation for the Arts, Lisa Booth Management, and of course, the Kennedy Center. I also want to uh, express my appreciation for the presence of so many colleagues from the Embassy of Haiti here, and for Alex Abrantes of the World Bank, who is doing great work in, in Haiti as well. Haiti, I think, as you all know, has, has a rich culture and history. And in the wake of the 2010 earthquake, the US and others uh, are working hard towards keeping that cultural legacy alive. With performances like this one we are about to enjoy this evening, we are seeing the results of our effort to recover and restore Haiti's rich cultural heritage. I also want to uh, thank this great audience. This is a very large audience, and it's great because uh, great performers deserve a great audience, and we have one here tonight. So give yourselves a round of applause. <clears throat> I also want to mention that as part of our effort to provide specialized expertise to Haiti's public institutions, uh, the United States government is supporting the Haiti Cultural Recovery Project. This is managed by the Smithsonian Institution and in partnership with Haiti's Ministry of Culture and Communication and Presidential Commission for Reconstruction. This project supports the rescue, recovery, restoration, and preservation of Haitian artwork, artifacts, documents, media, and architectural features damaged and endangered by the earthquake. People-to-people -people exchanges are really the most effective means of building mutual understanding among nations. By engaging in people-to-people -people diplomacy, we build a stronger foundation for future international relations. For the first time in almost 10 years, American Fulbright scholars are able to apply for a placement in Haiti, a significant contribution to normalizing academic exchanges with Haiti. Haiti is one of eight countries participating in the Fulbright Public Policy Fellows Program, and we currently have three fellows working side by side with Haitian counterparts to meet the challenges of public policies within the Prime Minister's Office, the Ministry of Planning and External Cooperation, and the Ministry of Public Health and Population. Center Stage brings diplomacy to Main Street America. Center Stage builds on Secretary of State Hillary Rodham Clinton's vision of smart power, which embraces the use of a full range of diplomatic tools, in this case dance, to bring people together and foster greater understanding. I should add that my boss, Hillary Clinton, is uh, flying to ha Haiti, to Capacien, this Monday, where she and President Martelli will open the largest industrial park in the Caribbean, uh, a park that has uh, the potential to create as many as 65,000 jobs over the next several years. Tonight we will enjoy a performance by the Compagnie de Danse, thank you, de Jean-René Delsoin, Haiti's acclaimed dance company. Under the direction of Jean René, his group of vibrant dancers and drummers perform a chore choreography that captures the many facets of Haiti's culture, the rough-edged and vivacious rural dances and ceremonies, the refined social dances of the cities, and the vivid yet stark lines of contemporary global dance. As I mentioned, while we and other donors are helping to meet Haiti's many challenges, the hard work is being done by Haitians. So please join me in welcoming these courageous young artists who are doing just that. Thank you very much.
Wangolo wale Kile wavini we moko wale Wangolo wale Kile wavini we moko wale Kile wavini we moko
Cavalier un toyo, ça va louer, dia un taille. Abonnez-vous, ça va louer. Cavalier un toyo, ça va louer, dia un taille.
kaja kaja nitande kebe sumanumba e sobonunde badanunde kebe sumanumba kaja busun donde Thank you.